Okay, now it's time to move on to cluster sampling. Cluster sampling gets confused with stratified sampling a lot. Stratified sampling is what we looked at, uh, at the, in the previous video, if you're watching these in order. If you're not, then you can find the other one. You can hopefully tell the difference between cluster sampling and stratified. I have my same population, and with stratified sampling, we grouped our people by color. We had all of our blue people, then our black people, then our red people, and we looked at them, and uh, that was stratified. But with cluster sampling, we grouped them in a different way. It's a natural grouping, and each one of the groups is called cl uh, a cluster. So let's say that all of these people lived on the same street. And I'm going around and I'm interviewing people. So these people lived on one street, this group of people lived on another street, and this group of people lived on another street. Let's say this one here was Maple Street, and this one here was Main Street, and this group here lived on First Street. Street. And all of these streets are in the same neighborhood, uh, but I don't want to go around the entire neighborhood because it's going to take me forever. So I want to save some time. I want to save my legs. I want to make this interview process a little bit easier on myself. So what I do is I use SRS once again, but this time I'm going to use SRS to randomly choose one street. So I put Maple Street, and I, Maple Street gets the number one, Main Street gets the number two, and First Street gets the number three. Hopefully that doesn't confuse you that First Street gets the number three. And then I use SRS once again to choose a, randomly choose a number between one and three. And it just so happens that the number that comes up is the number Two. So I use SRS and I choose the number two, which means Main Street is the cluster that I'm going to interview. So I would interview all of the people that live on Main Street. And hopefully I would be able to, every single person on Main Street would be willing to do the interview, but I would interview everybody on Main Street because Main Street was the cluster that got chosen using simple random sampling. So instead of randomly num instead of numbering the people in my population, I number the clusters in my population. That's the big difference. And I interview everybody within a particular cluster.